everybody, it's Christine again for Go Green TV. Today we're talking about waste, green waste and food waste in particular. In my prior life, if I was sitting here making a salad and cutting up dinner, this part would have gone straight into the garbage. But I've learned that that's a bad idea. Because when it goes into the garbage and it's layered in with regular waste in the landfill, it actually produces methane, a greenhouse gas, bad thing. Secondly, I learned that if I put it into the in-sink waste disposal, that the wastewater treatment plant really doesn't know how to handle that. So all in, I was in a conundrum, what to do? And then I met John, and he told me that by keeping a very nice little lidded pot right next to where I was working, and poof, popping that in there, forgetting about it for a while, and then occasionally, maybe every couple of days when I was going out to take my garbage, that I could just turn that upside down and magically, through the magic of time and air, that would turn into amazing rich soil that I could grow other things in. So that, my friends, is Composting 101, why we're doing it, and we're gonna go out and see John, and he's gonna show us how to do it exactly. Okay, so I've got that bin you told me to bring, the bucket full of dead vegetables. Well, Christine, um, these tomato plants are looking a little dead here, too. Why don't we work on uh, improving their health and productivity? You got a secret for me? I do. Come on over this All right, way. right behind you. And as much time as it took you to chop those vegetables for tonight's dinner, we're going to come up with a solution for all of your household green waste. This is your compost bin. Come on down here for a second. I can barely even see it. Well, you were making dinner. That's the point. Well, you were making dinner, got some plastic fencing, some bamboo posts, set up a nice circle for you, which is actually kind of important. And this costs a grand total of $15. You ready to compost? Yes, sir. Take the lid off. Okay. Lid off. Dump it away. You've officially graduated to be a composter. That's all you have to do. Get your all the stuff from your kitchen, your coffee grounds, your food waste, eggshells. Come out here every few days, dump it in here. Get all the clippings and other things from your garden and mix it in as well. This is the activator, okay? This will help get things started. You kick it off. All right. right. This guy will help add uh, nitrogen, potassium, and other important minerals, which will help your roses and help your tomatoes. Okay. So every couple days, you're going to dump your stuff in here, and every couple months, you're going to come out with a shovel and turn it. And then in a few months, you'll have beautiful, rich, dark soil uh, to, to have the best tomatoes and roses in town. So if I had wanted to go a little bit more upscale from the bamboo stakes, well, any you, other options? There's three, there's three really basic options. You can get what's called a worm box, which is a big wooden box that you put worms in. It's really better for small small spaces, maybe apartments. Uh, you can get you can get wooden compost bins. You can even get compost bins that turn, that flip. Like tumblers. Just like tumblers. The idea is that uh, every few months you want to stir the pot. You want to mix everything up because some things get kind of gooey and they need to be mixed up to break everything down. You and I bet that's a little bit more than $15. You could spend up a couple hundred dollars on your compost bin. Maybe you'll as you grow your garden, you'll want to do that. But start simple. So next year at this time, great tomatoes. Beautiful roses. And really not that hard to do. Not hard at all. Thank you so much for coming out. You're welcome. And thanks for the compost bin. What's for dinner? <laughs> See you right. later. Thanks. <laughs> so that's it. Composting. Get your green waste out of the landfills and turn it into something that feeds your garden. It's not that hard to do, costs very little, and it's one small thing that you can do to make a big difference. If you want to learn more about composting or any other aspect of going green, go greenonline.com. Come see us. Thanks. <laughs>